Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. Good Friday evening, everyone. I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Brandon Woolley. In tonight for Brett, your current temperature now at 90 degrees and the dew point today so much better. Now at 66 degrees. Yesterday was 10 degrees higher at 76 and pretty light winds only upwards of about 10 miles per hour. Not too much wind in our forecast tonight through tomorrow on your Saturday. Now, these showers and thunderstorms just popped up on Double Doppler 2, just south of McCurtain and out towards the southeast, especially around Poto at this time. A chance for showers and these isolated thunderstorms will prevail over the next couple of hours up through about sunset and then another chance overnight tonight. Some breaks in the cloud deck. We're seeing a lot of sunshine out there for this afternoon. So for tonight with partly cloudy skies in the forecast, Forecast. Between about 9 and 9.06, we have the chance to see NASA's International Space Station. The highest it will get about 60 degrees above the horizon in the northwest. The weather looks perfect. 83 degrees dry easterly winds only up to about 5 miles per hour. Now in Sand Springs down to street level, we're checking in at 91 degrees. Those other current temperatures from the 80s to the 90s. Bartlesville at 86 degrees. Also in Eufaula, 92 down to the south for our viewers in McAllister. Unfortunately, we have those temperatures approaching 100 degrees for next week on your latest seven day forecast. The latest pollen report for Tulsa grass is moderate and high, unfortunately, for molds. Now, the official daytime high today so far has been 90 degrees with that nice overnight low of 72. The averages for this time of year of 94 and 73. Timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation for tomorrow on your Saturday. We're looking at partly to at times mostly cloudy skies. I think more sunshine coming about for the afternoon hours, but once again, a chance for showers and some isolated thunderstorms. That chance will carry us all the way in throughout the early evening hours. Once again, and you can see mostly cloudy skies, especially right around sunset. Those overnight lows tonight dropping off into the upper 60s to the lower 70s with an increasing chance for showers and some isolated thunderstorms overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, if you do have driving plans, it could be wet out there on the streets. We have Tahlequah at 71 degrees, light winds all less than about 10 miles per hour. Again, overnight tonight through tomorrow morning, at least one model solution is showing a convective system coming right over green country. So again, a chance for showers and storms basically after midnight all the way through tomorrow morning, basically right around sunrise. Here's your grilling forecast. Now for lunch tomorrow, it looks great with mostly cloudy skies right around 85 degrees. But as we saw on future track, an increasing chance for showers and storms mid to late afternoon and in throughout the early evening. Daytime highs tomorrow, basically about the same anywhere from the upper 80s to the lower 90s. Southeasterly winds increasing a little bit between about about 5 and 10 miles per hour. We have Sepulpa at 91 degrees, basically the same in Shakota. Southeasterly winds all less than about 10, and it looks dry mid to late morning. Then once again, an increasing chance for showers and storms mid to late afternoon and in throughout the early evening. Southerly winds between about 5 and 10 miles per hour. Now here's a look at your latest seven day forecast on Sunday, a 20% chance for showers and storms, partly cloudy skies, a little bit warmer because of more sunshine coming in at 95 degrees. Now, if you want to wash your car probably next week. It does look fairly dry with mostly sunny skies and with more sunshine. Unfortunately, those high temperatures pushing up to close to 100 degrees all over again, especially for the mid to latter part of next week. And those overnight lows really mild anywhere from the mid 70s to right around 80 degrees. All right.